Welcome to a three-player game of Elevenses. So we start the game, we each have our own deck of the same 11 cards, which make up our morning tees, and we're going to shuffle them and then uh, deal them out into two rows of four. This is our tablecloth. Oh, that's not how you do it. Where for people of all dexterity levels. Where we will be playing our morning tea cards to try and make the best morning tea. So our remaining three cards go in our hand, and it's called our kitchen. Yeah, well, you go first because you Maybe. just had a cup of tea. Yep. So. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. <clears throat> I will begin by playing my three. So if I look on my reference card here, I can see that three goes in the second slot there. So I'll play it down and pick up what was underneath. Uh, this is milk. It has a value of one. And then the special action is basically I get to steal a card from someone, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to steal from Chris, so he has to show me his kitchen. Okay, there are my cards. Okay, now I don't want to take something I already have, because I can only play one copy of each card. So I might take this and give Chris this. Wow. A little mean, but that's the high stakes game of morning teeth. Chris's turn. Okay, well, given that you've just done that, I might play the card you just gave me, which goes here. The number eight, the sandwiches. Choose a player. She takes a card from your kitchen without looking and may swap it, swap for it or return it. So, so this card has a value of two, so it's good. And so often the the higher the power, so the higher the value, the more dangerous the power is. And I immediately regret doing it because the card that I just picked up I think is going to get stolen. Uh, I'll steal it. You haven't done anything yet. Mm. 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 Don't touch my hand. <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna steal this and give you that. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody. Okay, my turn. Okay, I'm going to play six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fine china. Two points. All players pass a card to the left. Don't crack them, don't break them. Guess what you are getting from me. Oh, goody. Your turn. Okay. I need three of them. I'm going to play Biscuits, which is pass a <laughs> card to the right. Enjoy that. You are the most obnoxious pack of ladies I've ever sat down to tea with. Okay. I. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to play the six, the fine china. Everybody passes a card to the left. And I'm going to try and get rid of this card again. <laughs> But I have Too a much passing. Let's just eat. Okay, I'm ready to eat. How how come none of you have even served your tea yet? Oh, you did. No, you didn't. I got you milk. <laughs> and I want a frosty glass of milk and biscuit. I got the Christmas table. Tea. I want the cookies. Santa would milk. love That's this. good. That's the kids' table. Okay, tea. Everyone needs tea. I mean, don't burn yourself. There's no cups yet. Uh, tea <laughs> is a point, enough. and I get to flip someone's card, which is so powerful. You're winning at the moment. Flip your fine china, please. You can find it again later if you need it. Otherwise, they're eating out of their hands. So it's purpose. Okay, I'm going to play my eight, my sandwiches, which is uh, worth two, but someone gets to steal a card blind from me. Uh, Chris is doing pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you. So I'll let, oh, you're him, honest. I'll let him steal a card blind. All right, I got this. Do I want it? Uh, I do. You can take that. Actually, you can take that because you already have one. Okay, so I'm on five, Chris is on two, David's on three. As soon as you have four cards out, that allows you to play elevenses and end the round. But you have to have elevenses and find it. Okay, so seeing that I'm on two points and you're on five and you're about to play your fourth card, I'm at the moment mostly interested in just getting some points up. So I'm going to play the seven because that's worth two spoons and that is pass a card to the right. And I'm going to pass you this. Nobody wants a sandwich. Okay, I'm worried about losing this. So I'm going to play a card. One and ten get played off your tablecloth because one's the servants or ten is the servants. One is the tea trolley. Whatever you do, don't forget the sugar. I won't. I get to get a point for the end of the game. But we call that no spoon. Uh, wussing out. <laughs> in the biz. Also, you don't get to pick up a card, so your hand size is down. But, but at least I get yeah, a point. Basically a victory point, which is pretty good. Okay, I don't have a lot I can do with my hand, so I'm just going to play what I can, which is my two. 
And flip I can one. now make someone flip a card. I think I'll make Chris flip his eight. Everybody wow. hates Chris. All, All right. right. Just your teeth. So I'm looking pretty good here. I'm on six, two, three. So I'm looking good. I just need to find my 11s and play it. Unless I already have it in my okay. hand. Well... Finally, the fact that everyone has done nothing but give me sandwiches all game pays off because I have another one, so I can immediately get that back. Uh, and I'll steal from you. Uh, no, I'll I'll let you steal and hope that you steal some more sandwiches. I'm gonna have to see what this is here. Hmm. Oh yeah. You can have that back. Uh. Okay. My turn? Oh, yes. Okay. Let's get some spoons down. Six, seven, eight, nine. Cakes! Choose a player. She looks at your kitchen and may swap for a card. Oh. You may. He's wiping yeah. the floor with us. Hmm. Oh, if you could see my hand, you would know that I'm doing the right thing. Okay. Uh, don't want that. Can't take that. So take it back. Yes. Thanks for giving so away. In what a I real had. game, I wouldn't have said that, but you can't take someone's eleven. But obviously, I had to show you the rule. So get ready for a dingle with my bell. So that was a pretty safe time for David to play that card because he knew. But the eleven was it. under there. I was lucky that time. So five. I'm on six. Hmm, okay. I'm going to play my four down here. Oh, that tells me he doesn't have something. Now the four lets me look at all my face down cards, which lets me set up combos of picking up and putting down. So I'm going to just have a look at where my stuff is, and Chris can go. Okay, well, I'm running out of options here, so I'm going to wuss out and pick the tea trolley. Wuss! <laughs> so, I am at least guaranteed one point, which might be the most I can hope for at this stage. Well... I have no hope of beating seven, so it's morning tea time, Glenn. Oh, I picked up my eleven last turn. Too bad I did it anyway. You win anyway. Okay, so <laughs> I get two because I have the I have the most spoons, so I've got the best morning tea. So I get two victory points. I have the second best morning tea. They say I get a point plus my other point. And washing out gets me one cube. And we keep going rounds of plenty until someone has seven cubes. Elevens and 